is indeed. He's no more than five meters, so I am whispering because he's right here. He's so close, I can actually smell him, which is incredible. And you can see he's feeding, and we can even listen to him ripping up big swathes of grass. This is absolutely incredible. We are being spoiled by these elephants today. Now you can see he's interested in the grass around the termite mound because generally where termites are, they put a lot of nutrients into the ground because they build their mound with their saliva and their feces and those feces is basically like compost and so it's perfect for fertilizer basically of the grass. So the grass that grows here is very nutritious and that's why the Ellies like to feed around termite mounds. just realized that we're here and that's why he's just blaring his ears out trying to sort of intimidate us but like I say we are on top of the mound so we're okay for now but this is about as close as we could ever get so you'll see he'll just back away now just to give him some space so he can assess the situation he's just realized that he got a little bit closer than he wanted to and so now he's just backing away which is very, very common of male elephants. A female elephant, we wouldn't have allowed her to get anywhere near as close. The males tend to be a lot more assertive and know that their size is big enough to look after themselves. And so once he sort of realized we were there, he's just backing up now just to see what's going on. And you can see he's starting to feed again. So all is okay. But isn't that amazing? Sebastian, have you ever been that close to an elephant? No, not close. So Sebastian's shaking his head in disbelief that he's been this close and is able to film this. It is absolutely spectacular. Now we're not going to be able to go anywhere for us for quite a while because the Ellie's are all around us. But it is absolutely amazing. Now you'll find that this bull elephant probably what he's going to do is he'll continue to back up and then he'll turn and start heading back towards the rest of the herd and make sure that he then joins up with them. But this is absolutely amazing. I don't think I can stop smiling now. Sebastian's trying to show you how close we actually are. And like I say, that elephant is right here, but it is absolutely amazing to be a part of this and to experience something like this is so, so cool. So we are very, very fortunate indeed. Like I say, we have the best job in the world. Thank you, big boy. Well, Douglas, an elephant's trunk is probably one of the strongest muscular structures in the natural world. It is incredibly powerful. You watch them break massive branches. I've seen them pick up trees that it would take probably five or six men to pick up and they pick it up with ease. It is really quite an amazing thing to watch how strong that trunk is. And when you think that that trunk has got way more uh, muscles in its body than what or muscles in the trunk than what we've got in our entire body you can realize why they're so strong now our elephant bull is moving away slightly so i think we're probably going to take this opportunity to start moving out and getting out of this area i think we've had an absolutely incredible experience and i don't want to push it any further i think we've, what we've done has been magical so we're going to probably start to move away slightly and we going to try and see if we can't maybe go and find the giraffe that weren't too far away and while we do that I believe Jamie is still searching for the elusive Incanyeni on Cheetah Plains and I really hope she has a bit of luck.